Hi, I'm Cindy Della Grazio. Four years ago, a group of us from Faith started meeting with folks from Reformation Lutheran Church down in Milwaukee. As a result of those meetings, Esther Roosh and I decided that we wanted to start a social justice book group. Um, the purpose was to have participants delve a little bit more deeply in a variety of social justice issues. To date, we've read 19 books. God was up to something four years ago uh, when we first started this book group. Because we've had four years to explore these issues, I feel like we might be a little further along in understanding what's happening in our nation today with racial injustice. There's many forces coming together to in Ozaki County, which I feel is a sign of God's hand leading us throughout all of this. Our small group of faith members uh, expanded, that community members started attending. Many of us are members of or participate in Bridge the Divide, and we've had shared activities with Bridge the Divide as well. Pastor John and Joyce Caldwell were recently asked to serve on a diversity uh, committee for the city of Cedarburg, and Ellie Anderson um, has started an advocacy group here at Faith. The seeds that were planted four years ago have taken root and like wildflowers have grown into areas that we never could have imagined. I've appreciated everything that I've been able to learn um, in this book club. It's led me to a deeper understanding of so many of the social issues. And I'm thankful to Faith for offering, offering this opportunity um, and thankful to the ELCA because they have so many wonderful programs promoting social justice, such as Amparo and LIRS, which I learned of through this book club and um, which I now support. Um, because in the end, as Christians, we all want a life of peace, justice, and inequity for all, equality for all. And um, I am grateful for the opportunity to take part in this club, and I would like to thank Faith for, for it. I think what I need to ask myself now is, what did this do to, for me to belong to this, to be a part of this group? First of all, which was amazing to me, I realized that I have lived my entire life privileged, and I never even knew it. It was a shock to me, but I know it now. And uh, I think most of us who get into this subject find out the same thing. I also found that I uh, uh, read the newspaper and looked at television news in a very different way. I began to see how differently people uh, who were African American were treated so differently than white people were, especially when it came to times of arrest and, and that sort of thing. Um, uh, I guess the other thing that's even more meaningful to me is that um, uh, I, it, it changed my life. I am, I am comfortable with people who are different than I am, people who have a different colored skin. I, um, I ask questions and I listen and I find myself on a journey that's going on and on that has, I think, I hope, made me a better person, made me a better Christian, and hopefully is going to make a difference for people who are in need in their lives. Hi, I'm Judy Schwengel. I married into this faith family 50 years ago. Unlike my husband, I did not grow up here but I did grow here. I realized that with God working through good people and good pastors and good partnerships with peace and justice organizations that I've been able to grow in faith and grow in my awareness of the struggles of vulnerable people here in Cedarburg, in our area and around the world. Our book club, Social Justice Book Club, keeps me on this challenging path. And I appreciate that so much, reading books I would never have picked up on my own. And then our advocacy group gives me information I can use for advocating for legislation concerning the people we've learned about and the issues we've learned about. We learn this, uh, the advocacy group 
has learned these things from, a, from trusted sources like Bread for the World. I want to keep growing here and I celebrate faith. The advocacy group grew out of the Social Justice Book Club. I've been a letter writer my whole adult life and when they asked if I would be interested in helping to organize this committee, I said yes. Knowing that there's a group of us out there writing letters on topics that are important to us helps me to feel that I'm making an impact. Faith, Faith's vision statement adopted last year calls on our congregation to be an advocate for social justice and peace. Both of these groups are ways that faith can live into this vision. The book club helps us to be informed and the advocacy group encourages action. I'm very thankful to be a part of both of them. Thank you. I think my interest in social justice work began when I was a kid. But when we uh, joined Faith, it really took a big step up. At that time, Faith had a very strong committee called Church and Society. And that committee did a lot of really good work. One of the things I remember from those days is that people can get involved in social justice issues in a lot of different ways, but I remember three simple ones. We can learn, we can do, and we can advocate. Let me talk just a little bit about each one of those. On the learning side, Faith is doing an excellent job right now with our social justice book group. That group studies a variety of social justice issues and wow, do we have our eyes opened in terms of the injustice that goes on throughout our society today. On the do side, Faith has always been a good doer uh, and we're doing that today. On the financial side of that, we have our uh, Mission of the Month program as well as grants from our trust funds going to social justice needs. And on the hands-on side, we have a variety of things going on. For example, uh, the quilters making quilts for Lutheran World Relief. We have St. Ben's Meal Program. We have Friendship Ministries and a variety of others as well. So we are very good doers here at Faith. But what has me most excited right now is the third one, which is Advocate. A variety of our members are starting to become active in contacting legislators and other government officials to ask for their help in solving some of the social justice, or shall I say, social injustice issues in our society. There's a lot of work to be done in this area, but I'm really excited to be part of it. And finally, I would just like to invite everyone to grab onto one of those areas of social justice work, learning, doing or advocating and you can do any one or you can do all of them but just remember that really social justice is nothing more than following Jesus' command love your neighbors as yourself.